Yo, I am loving Black Lightning right now. Nerd Soul. Late Ill Kid at One Youngster, hold it down, bringing that street geek and nerd soul. What is up, my people, today? Oh, yeah, we coming with another wonderful episode of On Screen. That's right, I ain't gonna waste no time. We got the pilot episode of what? Black Lightning. And this show was so dope. This episode was on point. There is so much to get into. And guys, you know I wanna hear your thoughts. So here's what I was thinking as I went through the episode. The 100 Gang? is not playing they made a they made a reference to 125 shootings over the weekend like freeland is not a place to be just playing around in like it is very very dangerous and we heard in the synopsis that ever since black lightning has left the gangs have started to take over and you know get more and more territory and get more brazen but this is crazy like a 125 shootings in a weekend that is that's a mass hysteria level of danger especially for our youth in the streets and the way we hear about this is through like the exposition news and for exposition news as a whole this was some of the better exposition news and i mean i know sometimes you just need exposition you can't do nothing about it but this was done pretty well usually they use the news in a way that's kind of corny but this kind of played in and they weaved it well to where it didn't take too much from the story but it gave us just the the spice of knowledge that we needed to move forward and i really got to give them props for that because there's some shows and movies that give you the exposition news this is just like bro come on man like just let's move it on but you never got the idea that it was like it was intrusive like it was just enough they let you know what the public thought they let you know what was being reported what the police thought but it was always as a as a as an addition a accoutrement if you will to the show and i like that i like how they they kind of crafted this very well from the beginning to end now from the black experience and the black perspective there's a lot to get into like picking the older daughter up from jail the the difference between of course, Jefferson Pierce and his older daughter, where they where they clash, where she is very gung ho because, of course, she's younger and she's ready to go. She's ready to fight for what she wants. And the older father, who has a family to take care of, of course, is like, you know, I, I see where you want to go. I understand what you're saying, but I need y'all to be safe. My whole my whole job is to make sure that y'all are alive. So, um, you know, he wasn't too happy picking her up from jail, but we also get to see another side of him protecting them when they get pulled over by the police. And regardless of how wrong that situation was, he still was like, please just don't do anything. Just sit there, just don't, you know, don't antagonize, please just, I want y'all safe. And we get to see, not told, because a lot of, you know, movies and TV shows try to tell you something instead of showing you. We get to show him being a father that loves his daughters and his family at all costs. And it's that family that is the strength of this show. I can't even, man, I can't even tell you how excited I was to see this family just shining because I didn't know how it was gonna work. Like I knew if it worked well, this show would be great. And it has, man. Like even the situation with the with the wife and well, the ex-wife, you can see they still have a relationship that's strong enough for the daughters to be able to thrive in. Uh, there's love there. Uh, there's compassion there. Uh, there's understanding there. And that is something that is just, it's sorely lacking on screen. Um, the black family unit is just something that hasn't been celebrated on screen in a long time, and I love that. Thank you, uh, Salim and Mara Akil. I'm sorry if I messed up your name, but you guys just really killed it and brought it home for this. Um, another thing, speaking of the family, is the relationship between the sisters, which I really enjoy because you get that that natural, honest dynamic that happens between older older and younger siblings. You know what I'm saying? You get this idea of like, I know what's best because I'm, you know, I've chosen this path in the world. Or the younger one is like, I don't want to be your path or I don't want to be dad's path. And them trying to figure out what's going on between each other. But you still see the, the love and respect there, which I enjoy. But of course, 
just like any show with a superhero, the superhero has got to do his thing. And of course, the younger sister, you know, we know she goes out, does her thing at the club. She ends up getting caught up in some stuff that she shouldn't get caught up in. And I think this is a very, this is a very good way to introduce the gang, introduce the gang's territory, and actually introduce like human trafficking into this as well, because it wasn't like, they didn't preach about it. They didn't, you know, they didn't give you a, a PSA about human trafficking and it's bad or whatever, but they really slid it in there and they showed from all sides, you know, like there's one dude that's just kind of like, he's just a cog in the wheel, you know what I'm saying? And Latavius, who is really the guy, well, that we know of now, he's really the guy kind of forcing him to do it because that dude just wants to be down. And we have the young girl who kind of gets mixed up in this because she just wanted to kind of have a good time and, you know, go out, you know, be young, go to the club and do dumb stuff. But luckily, her father was there to kind of like reel it in when danger really approached. And I love how we see, you know, we see Jefferson Pierce trying his best to not use his power. You know, he promised his wife, or well, he promised his ex-wife that he would not do that. And um, his babies were in danger, you know what I'm saying? And he couldn't, for any reason, let that go down. And he tried, man. And I, I love that part of the show where you have this guy that's like, I am trying to do it the right way. I am trying to not harm anybody. I'm trying to do, be, comforting and I'm trying to raise the children, but I can't raise these children to be successful without clearing the path for them. And unfortunately, clearing the path involves beating people up. Now we're gonna get into all of the beating people up and all of that good stuff because this club scene was very showing of how strong he was and how long he's been waiting to let loose. But of course, first, Kiro Brand gonna help us pay them bills. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Check that link below for Kiro Brand. Hats, shirts, hoodies, all that good stuff. Once you find something you like, cop it. So after the fallout of like, you know, what goes on at the club, the, the two sisters interacting again, we get to really see how strong their bond is. And, and this just drives home the point of how well this show is taken care of. I'm really loving this. There's so much to say about the, the ex-wife and Jefferson Pierce, and also the two daughters, and where they stand as a family. Um, even the situation where the young boy comes to the school again, and you know he's of course trying to grab, you know, and trying to be disrespectful and pulling guns and all that. And yo, Jefferson stands in real quick, and he he he's like, yo, do you really want to die for this? Like, you want to die for this? Like, think further than your nose about what you're doing. And, you know, it, it really goes home to show the kind of the attitude in a lot of areas where it's just like emotion, 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 without really thinking like, yo, if I do this, what's tomorrow gonna look like? What's next week gonna look like? You know what I'm saying? So I, I like that part, but what I also like is that Jefferson really tries to be understanding and a man of the people. Like he was able to talk to his assistant principal about like, yo, look, we are not putting metal detectors in the doors. But he also went and tried to talk to Latavius about like, look, man, we we all discussed the school was a safe zone and what's going on? Because you guys are at school now pulling guns. I want this over. I want this handled. And what we get is a, is a very tense scene between the two of them over the future of that city because this little boy represents what Freeland could be between both of them. So of course, as you know, you know, the young ladies are taken to the hotel because they're gonna kind of like force them to be in this life. And what we get between the, the hurt and the harm with the girls is what we also see with, of course, Jefferson Pierce and his ex-wife and just this feeling of loss and I've got to put 
the suit back on once again. And I like the fact that the guy that's helping him isn't isn't like his mentor. He's an equal, he's his friend. He's like, hey man, look, I think this city still needs you. And he's kind of like, you know, I'm not really down with that. And I like the fact that they're not trying to play it up where, you know, he's his mentor, or he's over him, or he's able to kind of like teach him something. I like how they're on this journey, this path together. But when he gets to the hotel, oh uh, yeah. Like, yo, I know I talked about the suit, but honestly, the suit is a very small thing because in the scope of the show, this show is so incredible. And the way he pulls off these moves, the way he handles the guys, the way the bullets don't phase him, there is so much about this show and this sequence at the hotel in general that really knocks it out the park. Uh, it really brings a lot of emotion to the very end when he slams the guy into the car. And that's some props that I just have to give to the writing because, you know, they set this guy up the whole episode to finally get his. And he did uh, spectacularly. <laughs> but uh, like the whole crew shutting down that whole hotel, that was a big win, not only for Black Lightning to be able to kind of like get back into the game, but for the city of Freeland because you have this kind of like this zest pool of like human trafficking technically that nobody's been able to really get into or crack and Black Lightning just went in there and tore it down. But of course, not everybody's happy about that because there was a statement from one of the police saying like, you know, it would be nice for us to get some recognition for all the things that we have done. So I do see that side as well because, you know, if you're, you know, a cop that's not corrupt, if you're a cop that's not corrupt, you're like, man, yo, I'm out here risking my life and you know, nobody's like, thank you, police. You know, they're all like hyped about Black Lightning, but Black Lightning does have superpowers and you don't. So, I mean, hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. But lastly, what I'll touch on, and I'm sorry, this is usually, this is much longer than usual, but guys, I'm just digging this show, is how they placed Crondon as Tobias. Well, uh, it's, man, it was done very well because they were able to place him villain-wise, kind of like the way they handled the Emperor in Star Wars. Like, you really didn't see him that much. You saw him twice, but his overarching presence is felt on the show, especially now that we know that he's like, I killed Black Lightning, so why are we having problems anymore? So I do like the fact that you have this history, of course, that we found out before with, you know, uh, Black Lightning and his friend talking about how his father was killed. And now we have this further history of him, you know, of course, Tobias thinking that he killed Black Lightning. So you do have this long-term villain issue going on. And I'd love to see where this goes, how this plays out, because Tobias has been written very well and he's very... He's very unpredictable and scary right now as, you know, like this kind of like mob boss that's in the city and how much power does he have? How many people are under his thumb? We will only see, I guess, as this season goes on, but I am loving this show. The first episode, if this episode is indicative of what the rest of the season is gonna be, we are in luck. So, holla at me, I'm gonna holla at you. Down in the comments, let's talk about, of course, Black Lightning. I'm hype, y'all. So let's do this. And let me tell you guys to hit up thatnerdsoul.com. That's right, check me out right there. All my videos from the oldest, newest, latest, greatest, and all that. Then hit up shop.thatnerdsoul.com and pick yourself up a t-shirt player. Don't forget to get one for them playettes. Then come back here, like, comment, subscribe, and share that nerd soul. That's right, there's no better way that I can show people that you like what you are watching. So LA, what up? VA, what up? RVA, you got my heart, and please, be good to yourselves. Please be good to each other. And remember, if you are working security at an illegal operation, don't sleep. Peace.